All right, movie fans, it is Oscar time this weekend. And my next guest is a veteran movie critic and a champion of entertaining and redemptive films and television. He's here to tell us what the Academy got right this year and the great films and performances that they missed. Please welcome the founder of Movie Guide, Ted Bear. Well, Ted, let's get something out of the way. Will the Oscars be as insufferably long? I think they're going to be long and painful. In fact, Variety just had an article that they're looking forward to the biggest disaster in Oscar history. So it's not doing well. You know, what you do with Movie Guide, and that's the publication that you put out of this online as well as in, in publication, you try to give some people a little insight into what movies, you don't tell them what to go see, but you at least shepherd them into this movie will give you maybe this experience with this level of, of uh, maybe offensive material. Do people appreciate that they might save a few bucks on a movie ticket because you warned them in advance? Is that what you hope well, to do? But the Hollywood Reporter said one third of the parents in America go to movieguide.org. So we get about 55 million measured audience in a lot of different categories. And that's because we do not tell them go or not go. We're not thumbs up. That's what Cisco yeah. Neger did. Everybody yeah. blames the Christians for doing what non Christians <laughs> did. What we tell them is develop discernment. This is what the movie is about. You be the judge. If you can handle this movie, then maybe you could go see it. Maybe it's got some redemptive values. Let's talk about some movies that ought to be getting attention that may not this week at the Oscars. Well, I mentioned Wonder Woman, which, yep. you know, just everywhere you can imagine. First place, her uh, paramour, the person who loves her, gives up his life for her. This is a very Christological moment. Mm. And she talks about what you need is faith, what you need is love in the movie. Wonder. I don't know whether you've seen Wonder, but one of the great movies I of did all see time. It. Yeah, about loved the little it. boy. And you know, loved it's just it. fun when the mother is sending him off and prays for him and 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 it's a Catholic school. I mean, it's a very well done mm. movie. And then of course the star won our Epiphany Prize, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. It was tough because we had the star and we had the case for Christ. But the star, you know, I always tell people to put humor in their movies. Yeah. People want humor. My wife's been on chemotherapy for years. You want humor. You mm. want to laugh. You yeah. want to enjoy it, just like your stand-up routine. You want to have fun. Well, I want the audience to have fun. They don't always, so I force them into it. I bribe them, whatever. Are you having fun? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, what else should we Sorry. know? <laughs> What else should we know about the Oscars? Are there some movies that are going to get honored and awarded that you think are just flat undeserving? There are a couple of good movies. I got to say that okay. first. There's Darkest Hour. That was great. And Kurt Dunkirk is, is beautiful. You know, it's not particularly uh, talky. <laughs> but, mm. And Boss Baby is a pro-life movie, which is incredible. $404 million. But the rest of the movies, some of them are absolutely abhorrent. The big lead movie. I don't know, can I say it here? It's about bestiality. Sure. It's a shape of water. It's yeah. about a woman who goes off with a, you know, a insentient being. So uh, it's very sad. Well, we I love movies that tell a great story. You tell a great story about the movies. By the way, in our audience tonight, we've got a director of a movie that is about to launch. I think it is a great movie. I've had a chance to screen it. It's called I Could Only Imagine. And John Irwin, the director of that movie, is sitting out in our audience tonight. So we want to say, John, thank you for a great movie. And I've known, known John's father for a long time. Great family. I have to say, I wept at the end of I Can Only Imagine. How could you not? You just got to love that film. That's what you got to do. Let me say thanks, Ted, for uh, being here with us in the inside into the movie industry. You can watch the incredibly long Oscars telecast this weekend. But on April 1st, Easter Sunday, you can watch Movie Guide's 26th Annual Faith and Values Awards Gala. It is on Reels Channel. That's at 4 p.m. Eastern and 1 o'clock Pacific. And if you want some solid reviews of movies, TV shows, or other forms of entertainment at the click of a button, visit movieguide.org for the very best information that will help you and your family.